Hi there! Welcome back! Over the next few weeks, I'd like to discuss some of the differences among species of fish. Now, some of them are obvious, like a weedy sea dragon looks nothing like a hammerhead shark. But we're going to be learning about some broader differences that set entire groups of species apart. Kicking off this series are Atlantic salmon and the various species of Pacific salmon. Obviously, one of the differences is that they live in different oceans. We all know that classic scene of dozens of salmon leaping their way up rapids and waterfalls to get back to where they hatched to lay their own eggs. And of course, they die afterwards, right? That actually only applies to the species in the Pacific. These seven species pour everything they have into fighting their way back to their natal stream to lay or fertilize as many eggs as possible in nests called reds. This breeding behavior is actually similar to a lot of insects, in that once the process gets started, in this case by heading for fresh water, they stop eating, and all energy is directed towards getting home and making babies. Shortly after that happens, they waste away and die and then they become either food for other animals or nutrients in the ecosystem. Atlantic salmon, on the other hand, often survive spawning. Not much is known about the migration habits of Celts, which are salmon that have already spawned, but we do know that many of them make it back to the ocean to rebuild their energy reserves. So why can Atlantic salmon survive the migration when none of the Pacific species can? One possibility is that Atlantic salmon are one of the largest species of salmon, and more bulk means more stored energy. They also don't cut off their own survival systems the way their Pacific cousins do, so they don't spend the entire migration aging rapidly. They still don't eat once they reach freshwater, and they do seem to need some time to recover before heading back downriver, but many of them eventually do, to do it all again a few years later. The final difference we'll be looking at today is less obvious. They're not in the same genus. While all seven Pacific species share genus Oncorhynchus with rainbow, steelhead, cutthroat trout, and other similar trout of the Pacific Basin, Atlantic salmon share genus Salmo with brown trout and other smaller, single watershed populations of similar species. So what's the difference? What sets these two apart? Members of genus Oncorhynchus have 14 to 20 rays in the anal fin, and members of Salmo only have 9 to 12. What can I say? Taxonomy is a very detail-oriented field. That's all we have for this week's episode of What's the Difference? Subscribe to Fish Geekery if you like what you see, and click that bell if you'd like to be notified when our next installment goes live. Next time, we'll be discussing fish that are a lot closer to home for many of us. We'll see you then.